Good day. My name is Prexis Kritz Austin O. Egal, and I'm going to demonstrate the offering and removing of bedpan. Bedpan is a bedpan is a raised receptacle for urine. It's a receptacle of urine and feces, and these are used for patient with patient with physical problem that contraindicates such movements. And offering and removing of bedpan is the process of properly putting and removing of bedpan. Objectives. Uh, this will allow the patient with physical problem to defecate. Uh, this will inspect the patient's stool for any abnormalities. And uh, monitors the patient bowel elimination uh, this, this will inspect the bowel em elimination movement of the patient. Safety and security measure. Prova uh, ensure the client's safety, ensure the client's privacy, and also do not leave the patient lock for longer than 15 minutes. Pre-procedural preparation. Wash your hand and wear gloves. Uh, wash your hand, clean gloves, identify the clients, uh, introduce yourself to the client, identify the client's identity, what you are going to do, why is it necessary, at the, and the things that the client can cooperate. So, good morning, ma'am. Uh, for the Imohang nurse, Karun, si nurse Pupu, and I'm going to uh, offer you a bed pad. Please again, name your name? Khalil. Okay, Khalil, uh, you, you just need to follow my uh, orders, lang ha? Okay. Uh, gather all the necessary equipments and provide privacy. The equipments are bed pan, uh, roll towel, water, uh, liquid soap, towel, paper tissue, waste receptacle, gloves, uh, deodorizer spray, uh, deodor deodorizer spray, and lubricant or hand hand lotion. Uh, First procedure, lower head of bed so client is in a supine position. A supine position helps the client uh, to use bed, bed pan easily because clients gain strength in the thigh muscle. Lower lang na Procedure number two. Adjust the bed to a height appropriate for the nurse to prevent back strain. Uh, this will ensure the safety of the nurse. Procedure number three. Elevate the side rail on the opposite side of the bed to prevent the client from falling out of bed. Uh, this will ensure the client's safety. Procedure number four. If the bed pile if the bed pan is metal, warm the bed pan using warm water uh, to prevent chill to the patient's skin. Procedure number five. Lubricate the back of the bed pan with a small amount of hand lotion or liquid soap to pre prevent or with prevent friction and shearing. Uh, this will prevent uh, prevent harming the patient. After that procedure number number six, uh, ask the client to us assist by flexing the flexing the knees plus uh flexing the knees and 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 flexing the knees resting the weight on the back the back heels and raising the buttocks uh, a trapeze may be used if present and insert the bed pan so that the client back rests on the smooth rounded rib this will set the patient in a comfortable position.
Okay, ma'am, ito, uh, insert na ang bed pad. You just need to raise ni may mohang tuhod. Okay, top part. And then, you can, kailangan, kung kailangan niya mag-assist ko dito, akong kamot para erase yung mohang buhat pa. Sige dito, wala ka kamot. Okay. Sige, erase din yung mohang buhat pa sa Uh, another uh, another procedure if a client uh, procedure number seven another procedure if the client in, uh, uh, is unable to raise their buttocks assist the client uh, the client by placing the uh, placing the bedpan against the buttocks and roll the towel at the patient's back. Slowly roll the patient into the bedpan. This will set the patient into a comfortable position. So, well. Procedure number eight. Uh, check the placement of the bedpan by looking between the client's leg. This will avoid any spill of feces. And if the and check if the client is in the right position. Procedure number nine. Uh, to provide a normal position for the client's lower back, elevate the client's bed to a semi fowler or a 45 degree angle or higher, uh, if permitted. This will help the clients to defecate easily. Procedure number 10. Uh, cover the client with bed linen to maintain comfort and dignity. Defecating is a personal matter. Raise and turn on this. Uh, procedure number 11. Provide the toilet tissue, place the call light within reach, and lower the bed uh, and elevate the cereal if, if indicated and leave the client, client alone. This will ensure the safety of, of the client. Gritty lang ma'am din. If you want to know what to do, I want to know what to do. If you want to know what to do, I want to know what to do. Procedure number 12. Answer the call bell promptly. And this will use Swanson's caring theory that provides a description of nursing presence. Procedure number 12. 13. Do not leave any one bedpan longer than 15 minutes unless they are able to remove the 
Tandon song. Light this day on the bedpan can light let this day of the bedpan can cause pressure ulcer. Uh, this will ensure the safety of the patient. Uh, procedure number 14, 14. When removing the bedpan, return the bedpan to the position when giving the bedpan. Hold the hold the bedpans. Hold the bedpan steady to prevent spillage of its content. Cover the bedpan and place it under it on the floor on the top of a paper lining. This will maintain a clean environment. Uh, procedure number 15. If the client needs assistance, put on gloves and wipe the patient perennial area with several layers of toilet tissue. If a specimen proof is needed, place the tissue in a receptacle other than the butt pan. This will avoid uh, contamination, cross contamination. Procedure number uh, 16. Wash the perennial area of the dependent patient with soap and water and th thoroughly dry the area. Uh, this will prevent hygiene and prevent cross-contamination. -conta uh, procedure number 17. For all patients, offer warm water, soap, washcloth, and a towel to wash, to wash the hands. Uh, this will maintain a good hygiene and prevent any cross contamination. So, magwash lang tag hands mang. Sige. Uh, was washi imong kamot sa tag. Sabon. Next. Rub lang mang thoroughly. Uh, procedure number 18 uh, assist the patient to a comfortable position and empty and cl clean the bedpan and return, out, return it to the bedside this avoid undue reaching and uh, straining and promotes good body mechanics Procedure 19. Uh, remove and discard gloves and wash wash your hands. Procedure number 20. Spray the room with air freshener as needed to control odor unless contraindicated, contraindicated because of respiratory problem or allergies. This will maintain a clean environment based on the Nightingale's environmental, theory, environmental model, the warming and ventilation.
Procedure number 21. Uh, document, color, odor, and consistency of urine and feces and the condition of the perennial area. These are used for data collection. Thank you.